5.1 mile climb to the top of Fire Creek Pass. I'm already tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Creek is behind us. Now we gotta get up and over this pass. This is hard. Washington's no joke, that's for sure. Add the snow in the high creeks and this is a challenge to the end. It's a hot one. Still early, but some guy said it was supposed to be like 106 today. Hydrate often and early. Um, across the green there, you can see the trail, I think. We're gonna wind our way, switch back up over that and around. That even like this part of the trail is sketchy because Hermes just. What happened at first? You just lost your balance? Yeah, I just lost his balance. Well, like this edge is angled. So he kind of slid off the edge. Then when he tried to climb back up, he started sliding down the hill even more. Grabbed a root. So he didn't go very far, but he would have if that root wasn't there. Good catch, bud. Thanks. All right, I'm not gonna keep showing blowdowns because there are like a million. Honestly, we walked like 10 or 15 steps. Have to climb over this one, over that one. Are you okay? Yeah. And we're like on the edge of the trail here, like sloping down, trying to not slip off the edge and getting back up to the trail. Oh, so this is hard, really hard. I just gave half a protein bar to the boys to share that was one of mine for the day. I'm fine, and I have some food. Um, but they've been doing their own resupplies for a while now, and this is gonna be slippery. Um, they didn't resupply well, I mean, we're taking a little bit longer than we anticipated. Um, and this terrain is just pretty rugged, and so I think we're more hungry. And we're, like, exhausted and frustrated that the miles are going so slow, so that probably makes us want to eat more. Um, so, all those things combined, uh, the boys don't have enough food. But... We have to make it the rest of today and all day tomorrow. Thank you. I'm going to have to put the camera away because this is a slippery, sketchy edge here with mud. So anyways, bottom line is we're hungry. We don't have enough food. So I got to cross this. I'll, I'll go out. This is not so you can climb up here nice and easy, but then it's going to be a... Uh, like a five foot drop onto an angled hill that's muddy. Um, where the heck do people go? Maybe all the way down? What about all the way up? Making our way up. Slippery muddy hill around this monster and down slippery mud. Uh, Should we stay high the whole way? Past the snow? Just go. To the finish. Mm -hmm. Whew. 
Yeah. We're working hard. It's that one. But we're headed up still. One of those. smokes <sighs> beautiful but hard work and this is July 27th 2022 on the PCT in Washington making our way up Fire Creek Pass Are we sure this is the top? Oh my goodness. The sign right behind me. Okay. Oh boy. That was rough. <laughs> that was really long. It was so hot out. That was hard. Wow. All right, well, let's take a break for a minute before we go up over this and see what we're gonna come up against to get down. Okay, so good job, boys. Fire Creek Pass. 6,300 and one thing says 11, one thing says 22. Felt like 22. Yeah, For yeah sure. definitely 22. Definitely 22. It's crazy, you guys, how many times on this trail we've carried like too much food you know like we've gotten to a resupply and I've said okay check and see what you already have so you don't overbuy and now here we are scrimping and scraping and just trying to figure out if we have food for tonight and tomorrow and we don't right. <laughs> uh, what were you thinking were you thinking that we were gonna do this faster yeah, yeah. This day is crazy. So we're about to go five miles, 3,000 feet down to then go 3,000 feet back up to then go about 3,000 feet back down. And then we'll see where we are for the day. Holy smokes. It's beautiful. I kind of want to just stay here. <sighs> but that won't get us to Stahican and that won't get us to Canada. And we need food. <laughs> All right, let's get moving, boys. Where are we going? Um, yeah, hold on a second, you guys, before we go too far. See the trail switch backing? Nope, I'm trying. Oh, down in the dirt, yeah. Is this just go to dirt right here? Yeah, right up here. Okay, Maybe go. We could send it right down there. Dig it in, careful. Alrighty, so let's see, we just came across that. It wasn't too long, but it was a uh, steep stretch. Yeah, this is funny, but the. The sun cups are making it a little challenging. All right, and then we're gonna connect with the trail right over here. After we get down this five miles, perhaps that, I don't know if you could see those switchbacks in the green over there. Gosh, going right back up that. Oi.
<laughs> Dig your heels in. All right. This is where that little break, right up there. And we came across all of this, came down that, and we are pretty sure that the trail continues over here. Should be able to see a lake. Okay, I think we're on trail. It's a little bit of a stream, but yeah, good. Nice job. All right, so this is a wreck. Yeah, it's a mess. There's a trail behind us that we came off of. We came across the snow. A couple of us slid, which is why there are people downhill. Um, now we're on the trail. We're gonna continue this way, but we're gonna be in snow in another second. Uh, we got a pole uphill. I think it looks like Unbreakable's going back to try to get it. Look at that. Ice That's so cool. Okay, so we got the cascade coming down there and then the edge that's starting to melt. So blue. So pretty. Hello, end of July. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. flowing out of that lake down here. That is a snow bridge that we're supposed to cross right now to get to that trail. I don't know. It's midday. It snow's pretty soft. I'm not sure if we could trust that or not. Um, let's look down here maybe. We can come down to the right of this. Maybe. That trail switches back. All right. So this is another ice bridge between the rocks, which I don't really like the idea of being between the rocks. However, this one's half shaded. So, and the trail is not too far away. So I think we're gonna do this one. I'll go and try it. Okay, I think you're good. It's a good probably four or five feet thick. Just watch the edges that you don't slip down next to the rock. So look at you guys. Look up here where it's cascading from. This is too steep on the sides. I think the only way to go is up and over. This looks pretty dangerous because the trail went back and around and this is like a shoot. <laughs> These are thorns. Okay. So thorns and rocks that move. And a shoot. Okay, we're plowing through overgrowth, including thorns, mostly thorns. Um, it's like up to our heads. Obviously slowing us down and making the boys crazy. This is really challenging today. All the different things that are slowing us down. Ah! Besides the tough terrain, just all these obstacles. It's like 
We're a little discouraged. So, like straight up bushwhacking through that prickers. And that was like a mile. Yeah. And then coming down this trail, we were thankful to finally be on normal trail. Drive tripped over something and smashed his hip on the side of the trail on a rock or whatever. Man, this is tough. We're having a tough day today. I see the bridge down here, you guys. So we still need to get down to the bottom of this. It's taking forever. There's a bridge over that creek. And then we have a major climb in the sun. If we were not trying to get done in a certain amount of time, I would call this a day. I would find a tent spot and call it a day, but we're gonna do this climb somehow. And we're gonna try to go beyond the climb if we can. All right. Okay, so this is the trail, just to show you it hasn't ended. It's like smashing me in the face. I have to just plow through it. It's gonna be even worse, obviously, for the kids because they're not as tall. This is just really hard right now. Getting scratched up along the way. Watch this edge, you guys. And watch the tree. And another tree. Made it. Thank God for this bridge. That's crazy, huh? Okay, so this marks the bottom, and now we start a climb. It looks like we're going back into... Oh my gosh, whoa. You can't see the bottom, you can't see your feet, so it's a little tricky. Tripping over rocks and there's something down. Alright, we're going to be in the sun now. I'm gonna need to um, use my poles and watch where I'm going, I think. Oh. Interesting sign. Trail not maintained beyond this point. Beyond that point. This, this point is also a little challenging right now. Man, the sun is like beating down. We are climbing. This narrow trail, oh, maybe I should warn you, I'm going to complain for a minute. usually try not to, but <laughs> the trail is so narrow and steep right here, and we're pushing our way through these thorns and ferns that are like higher than my head. The kids are shorter than me. Um pretty purple flowers but this is nuts this is absolutely nuts it was so thick it's so thick at points where I can't even see and it like was tripping me my legs were just getting caught up in it oh my gosh this is crazy and I don't watch never watched a lot of YouTubers showing the trail or whatever, but I can tell you that the ones I did watch didn't show this stuff. It was all just beautiful, scenic, and wonderful, with an occasional frustration. But <laughs> in reality, this trail is so hard, not just today, but on a lot of days and a lot of sections aren't so perfect and wonderful. It's crazy. As if going uphill isn't hard enough. <laughs> We're stopping for a second the shady section. 
Wow, this is tough. Um, There's a huge snowy peak ahead and we're about to enter more overgrowth and sun. So here we go. Okay, this is because of a blowdown. We're like making our way up this ridiculously steep side of the mountain through all this stuff and with slippery footing. This is nuts. Because the blowdown was like right on a trail and there were so many branches you like couldn't even get around it. Holy smokes. <sighs> nuts. And the flies are crazy here. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep moving. I'm up to 65. Are you good, Ash? Nope. Right, so, we're making our way. We're hopefully pretty close to the top at this point. And we're still pushing our way through these ferns and prickers. So, this is a five point something mile climb. We had one mile, I'd say one pretty solid mile of this on the other side of the bridge. Now that we've crossed the bridge and we're heading north up this mountain. Um, this is crazy. You can't see where your feet are. So it's really dangerous, I think, because if you step off the trail where it's eroded or where there's a rock and you trip, um, this is a really steep slope. So anyway, drive said the temperature in the partial shade was 94. So I can only imagine how hot it really is. I mean, it feels crazy hot. Um, this is nuts. This is like, Phil, watch that. Still climbing. Made it up the steep part of the climb. Holy smokes, that was hard. Small up and then big down. I don't know what this is, but wow, is it impressive. So we're headed right up, up here. We're gonna take a quick break and evaluate things. But look at this, if I zoom in, you can see the snow and that glacier up there. It's crazy. This is the end of July. Snow up there, but maybe not down here. Yeah, at the snow. end of July. There's always snow on top, but not. We're days away from August, and we're still walking through feet of snow here. It's so crazy. Here's my crew. What a day. It's not over yet, but this is how we're feeling right now. <sighs> All right, so we have about an hour of daylight. We had talked earlier in the day about hiking into the night, but we can't hike into the night on snowy traverses. Um, and to be honest, we're exhausted. I don't know exactly how many miles we've done. It's not anywhere near what we wanted to do, but sometimes it's not about the miles. Um, I don't know exactly. I haven't looked or calculated this, but the boys said we've done feet of elevation gain today. Um, so it's been an intense day. It started off this morning with that really sketchy creek crossing, which, I mean, honestly, took like a physical, emotional <laughs> toll on me. Uh, and the boys, I'm sure. It was scary. Um, and then after that, we just moved into very challenging hiking all day. Combined with frustrating hiking with the overgrowth and stuff. So, and the hot weather. It was like 100 degrees, I think, in the middle of the day. So, it's been quite a day. 
Um, unfortunately, we set a goal that was maybe a little bit too aggressive, and so we're disappointed. But in reality, what we've done today is amazing and incredible, and the boys should be proud. Um, so, trying to stay positive here just stinks because we were hoping to get further today so that we could get maybe into town tomorrow night, but that is very unlikely at this point. So, anyway, 1.9 miles ahead is a tent spot. Good chance there are already people there, but we might need to squeeze in at that spot because then it starts to switch back very steep um, descent. And we'll have to see if those switchbacks are snowy or not. If they are, we're not gonna try to do them in the dark. So, more to come, two miles ahead. Get water now. Water running down it. Plenty of water now. You gotta get your feet wet. Let's go. Really pretty sunset going on over there. And then the reflection over here is incredible. It's not pretty. Oh my gosh, these flies are crazy. <laughs> 